Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So guys, I woke up to this story this morning and I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to get it to stay on during this um, video. Um, this video is going to be like a combination video. I'm not spending any money today and it is a, um, I'm pulling the name off for the giveaway. Okay, so I woke up this morning and I turned on my phone and I saw this and it was by the U United States Sun. I guess that's a magazine or a newspaper. Um, and it said, turning back, Dollar Tree CEO confirms company will make major ch price change and customers will be delighted. So I'll try to read it to you. It's dated August 1st, updated August 2nd. Today's August 3rd, okay? It says, Dollar Tree has gone back to its roots as the company confirmed its lower price structure. And then it goes on to say, twenty in back in 2019, Dollar Tree raised prices to $1.25 at select stores until fully implementing the increase last year to 2,500 stores and four distribution centers, okay? Now, Dollar Tree will roll back hundreds of items to its $1 price point. And I'm going to see if maybe I could get that in a little bit better, okay? And that's where it says that part. And then, however, Dollar Tree will now... Oh, so this this up here leads down to, you know, how they went up to the dollar twenty-five. Now it's continuing. It says... And I'll try to get it in a little bit better. Let me see if I can get that in good. However... Dollar Tree will now have about 300 to 400 products returned to its original $1 price structure, Chief Merchandising Officer Rick McNeely said in a recent conference. Okay, the move comes as other retailers, I'm right here in case it's blurry, have consistently dropped prices to stay competitive. It's pretty hard to have a banner like Dollar Tree and you have an item that everybody else has at $1 and you're, you're a buck and a quarter. Dollar Tree Chief Executive Officer Rick Dwelling said in investors at in an investors conference. So if you want to read this, guys, just look up because I I wanted to see if I could find it again. And it's just um you know Dollar Tree rolling back prices. If you want to read it yourself, um, but it says it was also reported that the price decreases will be labeled on shelves or packet packaging with the potential for more items to be added in the future, per coupons in the news. Okay. And they're probably sending me all these Ugg Slipper advertisements because I was looking for Ugg Slippers, okay? So, <laughs> um, it's unclear when the shoppers will see the change, but it's likely to happen by this year, okay? The U.S. Sun has not immediately heard back from Dollar Tree. And then it just goes on to, you know, talk about during an annual investor conference, Dollar Tree announced it will be adding frozen foods, bread, and other merchandise for 3 4 and $5. So, that's... That would be the Dollar Tree Plus, which we pretty much all know about. These changes were across thousands of locations in May and have drastically expanded sales and product offerings. So that means they're doing pretty good with the Dollar Tree Plus, I guess. From $2.01 to $5 price points, there's another huge market that is untapped for us. So basically, it said by sticking to the 125 the company was limited to single serve or a novelty offering. Whatever, the, I don't even know what that means. I'd have to, I'd have to think about that. I read that earlier. It still doesn't make any sense to me. Despite being a discount store, there are even more ways to save at Dollar Tree. Oh, okay. So it says one way is by purchasing in bulk. So all this other stuff I already read. It's really not anything to do with the fact that um, Dollar Tree is turning back time. Okay, and I did put it on around maybe about ten thirty, eleven o'clock this morning. I did put it on one of my shorts videos to spread the word um but anyway guys so i just want to let you know that in case you did not hear this that things are happening and customers will be delighted so i definitely will be delighted when that what they say about three to four hundred yeah three to four hundred products will return to its original dollar price i was thinking maybe like toothpaste deodorant you know that's what i was thinking so you know, things like that, that you'd see in like the, the makeup or the, you know, cosmetics or toiletries aisle. I think those are going to, my guess would be they're going to go back to a dollar. Okay. Or maybe some of the hair stuff like the barrettes, you know, things like that. So anyway, guys, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull the name for the giveaway. And then I'm going to show you some of the things that I found when I was looking through my fall stuff that I want to show you that I had from last year. That's mostly from the Dollar Tree.
Okay, guys, so just to refresh your memory, this was what was in the giveaway. I'm just going to kind of skim over it. I love that little Hello Pumpkin um, rolling pin. And I saw somebody today give a really good idea about that, that you could get a couple of them and then paint one of them a different color for all year round in your kitchen. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go get a couple more. So anyway... Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to get the names uh, in a jar. Okay, so there was actually only five entries, so I'm just going to stick them right in here. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of like shake it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to tip it and whichever name falls out first, that's the one that's going to be the winner. And... YouTube has nothing to do with this giveaway. I bought it all myself. I like to say that because other people said that before, and I want to make sure that I'm, you know, saying. Also, once this, um, the, these items leave my hands, that's it. I have nothing to do with it, okay? So I never really send anything breakable. I never send, like, nail polish. I never put in, like, anything that's liquid in my giveaways because I just feel like, you know, what if it spills all over something or it breaks? So I try never, ever, ever to put anything breakable in here at all. So go ahead. I wish I had a drum roll. Okay, let me get that closer. Let me see if I can. Patchouli Julie. I can read it, but I don't know if you guys can see it. So let me go ahead and put it down right there. So congratulations, Julie. And what you can do, Julie, is you can... Send me through my email because my email is posted on my description page of, of my channel. And you can, um, through the email, you can send me where you want me to send the package. So get in touch with me within a couple of days and um, hopefully I'll be hearing from you soon, okay? So again, congratulations, Julie, and thank you for everybody who entered into this giveaway. I could not wait to give it away. Um, I've been, you know, building it up and I'm going to do another giveaway for my 5,000 subscriber, and I also reached half of my watch time, so I'm going to do that too. So anyway, go, guys, let me go ahead. I want to show you, because I'm trying to do a theme for August for the no spend, so if you want to stick around for that, I want to show you some things that I still have from last year, because so, I'm going to go through my inventory before I start spending at Dollar Tree. Okay, so let me start off with these. They have these again at the Dollar Tree this year. I paid a dollar for these. I'm pretty sure it was still a dollar when I got these last year. Um, yeah, because I don't think the Dollar Tree went up to $1.25 maybe till after Christmas, right? I can't even remember. But anyway, I know I paid, I know I got these when they were a dollar and I do have the blue one, but I'm going through my stuff and it's kind of scattered. So, um, but I know that I have that blue one somewhere too. But they have these again this year. I saw them recently, be blessed be thankful um, I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same as they were and um, the blue one seemed to be the hardest to find for me I ended up finding it eventually but now I can't find it in my house so go figure that right and I ended up finding this again this year but they have it they had this last year so this is my last year one that I paid a dollar for but they do have this again this year. And I think I showed it. I know I showed it in one of my recent videos. So, you know, if you want to go out and get it, they have it again. Okay, this fox has been showing up year after year. This was the first one. Then the last year's one, I think he has a little apple. And I think this year he has a mushroom. But don't quote me on that. But he's back again. I'm pretty sure with a mushroom. Okay, but the first year he was just that and he's so cute but he turns out cute every time but he, they just keep adding little things to him and then these pumpkins were there last year and my name is linda so you know these are separate pumpkins but lately i've been seeing things kind of stuck together like that so i'm thinking maybe i could paint over the l's because i have that kind of paint and just kind of like make it just look like two pumpkins and glue them together, you know, and then they'll stand up nice like they're doing now. All right. And then I got these last year and I've, I'm not seeing these exact things this year. 
but they may show up. And I still haven't even see how they still got the dollar thing. Wait a minute. Are these from the Dollar Tree? Because I also went to Dollar General. No, I also went, yeah, Dollar General. So these actually could be from Dollar General because I don't see like a green briar sign on the back of that. It says Old Eastman Company. Okay, so I think these were, um, does it say it right on? Am I going blind again? I can't remember. All right, so these were a dollar, obviously. But I think I might have gotten these at um, Dollar General. Or maybe even Family Dollar. But no, I think it would say Family Dollar on it. So these are Dollar General. All right, now, last year, or maybe it was the year before, I made some cute little pumpkins. So I made this pumpkin out of the little um, Jenga kind of blocks that they have at the Dollar Tree. I just put a whole bunch of them together like that see how that was put together if you want to take a good look at it and then I painted it pink I left and then I put a little square piece because you can get all these pieces of the Dollar Tree and even this little bow came from the Dollar Tree too so that was one of my little pumpkins and then these are dowels that they actually have at the Dollar Tree and then I put two little pieces um, but actually you know what these were now that I think of it these were these were you know the paint um, brushes that they have. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. That was weird. Um, you know those little paint brushes that they have at the Dollar Tree. Well, when you're all finished with the paint brushes, just pull the handle off of them. That's what I did. I pulled the handle off of the paint brushes, and then I glued them together like that. Because you know how the paint brushes, like those foam ones, get all you know, not great. And then I painted them blue. You can still see the glue there because actually there was a little bow there and I don't know what happened to the bow, but I painted those gold. So I'll find another bow for that. And then I just kind of put a little bit of Mod Podge on it. Or maybe it was when the blue was really so wet and I kind of sprinkled it. So those are my two homemade pumpkins if you ever want to try doing something like that, which was so easy. Okay, now this I definitely got at the Dollar General. And it, it says farmhouse. I think this sign is so cute. You could DIY it if you can't find it. If you know how to print good. Um, farmhouse, bed and breakfast. You make both. I love funny things like that, right? And then I know it was at the Dollar General because they had the green dots that day and everything was a dollar that day. So that was last year. So how about that though, right? Bed and breakfast, you make both. How cute is that? And if you got like a cricket, that is such a cute saying to make a sign with. Okay, they have very similar things to this again this year. As a matter of fact, one of them might be exact like this. I can't remember because I did show it in a video about a week ago. Um, but this says happy pumpkin season. I know this is old because I just got it deep out of my closet. So I know it's from last year. Um, but it says happy pumpkin season and um, this was a dollar but again like I said they have something very very similar to that this year if not practically the same okay I found some of my like fall kind of stickers that I'm not sure if they're back at the Dollar Tree this year but they might be as you can see I took my cows off but you could put these on like little things like you know say if you have like a little plain salt and pepper shaker or uh, like if you have like little wooden spoons and you want to like mod podge them if you know you're not going to use the wooden spoons you know maybe you could mod podge these on or like one of like the rolling pins or something but these are so cute you can also obviously use them in your um you know your what's <laughs> my my brain is totally fried today you know the journals okay so um but yeah, how cute is are those little things? They got like the trucks and homemade with love, you know, things like that. Um, I don't know why that's written all over. But anyway, guys, um, I think I saw these again this year. I think I did. Okay, so I know I saw this again this year. Now, they might just be pulling some leftovers out from last year. But I saw them again this year. They come in purple. They come in black and they come in the um, orange. I'll just, well, you can see how it's got the little light in there, right? The little tea light. But mine is so old that it's probably really dim. But, um, and I don't think you can really get it to go on again. So it's probably never going to go on again for me. 
Um, but I love the purple one, and I ended up giving, I think, the purple one to my daughter. Um, but how cute is that? I love that. And it's made out of, like, wire, and then there's mesh over it. And it's so, so pretty and so elegant looking, right? And then I did get this um, at a yard. I don't know if I got this at a yard sale or I got it at a thrift store. But I know there's a price on it, but I didn't pay that. I got this at a yard sale. And it says, Happy Fall, y'all. And I love that saying. So anytime I see something like that, I grab it. But, um, yeah, so, but this is, like I said, this isn't obviously part of the Dollar Tree. But I'm not going to be going and looking around. Uh, well, I did get a few things at the end of July because I'm going to keep my August completely, like, low buy, no buy, um, I've been doing a couple of videos on it already. Like tonight is a low buy or a no buy. Actually, I don't think I... Nothing is new here tonight. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going through all my old stuff first before I start, you know, um, showing you the new stuff that I got. But technically, you know, I don't even need to buy any new stuff, you know. I'm probably going to give some of the stuff to my daughter that I recently got, but I'm not going crazy. I'm trying to give myself like a... $10 allowance a week for like the Dollar Tree itself, you know, for extra stuff. Obviously, if I buy my food, it's going to be out of, you know, it's not going to be part of the budget. But I'm trying to limit like the Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five things to like $10 a week, which would be only eight things, basically. And I might put a little bit of a budget in for, um, you know, the Halloween stuff that's coming up. But I'm done. I'm pretty sure I'm done with Halloween stuff. So I'm probably going to put it in my budget for Christmas stuff for the um, Dollar Tree Plus because I know that Dollar Tree Plus is going to come out with some good stuff for Christmas. I just got a feeling. Okay, now I know I got this at Michael's last year. Um, you know, when they were clearing everything out, like sometimes they go as low as, uh, they used to go as low as 90. No, was it 90? I think Hobby Lobby went down as low as 90 once, but I think Michael's goes as low as like 70 or 80. But I ended up getting this last year for probably a couple of bucks because the back of it says it was $9.99, but I did not pay $9.99. I would never pay $9.99 for that sign, even though it's adorable. And when you look at this, really think about this, you could you could actually DIY this because Dollar Tree sells the cups like this, this you know, the little cups that are um, ready to be painted. As a matter of fact, I just saw them in my closet a little while ago. I should have brought them out. They're kind of bigger, though. But then just, you know, you can just, it's you can easily DIY that, you know, very, very easily. And um, then I have these. And these are like the little tea lights. You know, I never even opened these. Um, these are obviously probably more like Halloween, right? I happen to find them. So I'm just, they were in my fall bag. So I'm going to take them out and see if they even still work because they are from last year. Wait a minute, are you supposed to... Oh, I see. you got to take that thing out first. Oh, there they go. Yeah, they're lighting up. they got like a little scarecrow nose on them. So, <laughs> they're cute, right? I love them. And they're like blinking. So, I'll save them for like a cute little thing on my table for when Halloween comes. Oh, no, it won't even shut off. That one shut off. What's going on with this one? Oh, there it is. Okay, so anyway, guys, let me see if I, I got one more thing, I think. Okay, guys, I saw. I want to say I got this at TJ Maxx last year. I can't see any signs on it, but I'm pretty sure it was TJ Maxx. And I'm pretty sure that I got it when they were having, like, the, you know, the prices low. Because um, I don't like to pay full price, you know. Who does, right? And so there was some, like things in the back of it like daisies or whatever but what I did was I took them out and I poked some things in there I don't remember what I put in there but this I also found from last year so you could like take anything and put it in there like I could even just take like the little fox and put them in the back you know if I wanted to or I could take like um you know maybe some of my pumpkins you know and stick them right there too like so he's riding along He's helping deliver the pumpkins, right? But that's probably not how I'm going to decorate it. But you can decorate it with little pumpkins for like the how you know for the fall time. You can decorate it with little ghosts for like the um, you know Halloween, and then you can decorate it with like little Santa Clauses or elves, whatever. This truck can be decorated all kinds of different ways. Put a Christmas tree in the back of it, you know. 
So anyway, guys, thanks for coming along, and congratulations to Julie. Um, her channel is called Patchouli Julie. She has her own YouTube channel, so go check her out. She's amazing. She's awesome. She's a great supporter, and I love watching her channel. She has such an upbeat way about her, and um, just please go check her out. And, you know, once again, Julie, congratulations, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.